Growing as a Cambodian child, my parents and their, their elders always told me to eat other food from my plate, and I kept, and it became my habit. I kept wondering why I have to do that, but now I understand why. I understand that I'm lucky to have the delicious and nutritious food to eat, while an abundance of people are starving and malnourished. Looking around in Phnom Penh, we can also see hungry people on the street. According to the website of an organization called Action Against Hunger, it is estimated that there are about, one, about 9 billion people on Earth. This makes it harder to feed the world's population. The world's food production needs to increase by 70% in order for the world to feed everyone. Based on my research, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations estimates that there are about 1.3 billion tons of food wasted or lost each year, which is equivalent to one third of the world's overall food production. If you look at this graph, it shows each region's food waste. It looks like the western region wasted more food than the rest of the world. In total, this food cost us about $990 billion, which is which, is, which can feed approximately 800 million people. So why is this a problem? Well, it's because of us, humans. We're taking food for granted. One more reason is poor farmers often harvest their crops early because of food efficiency and the need for cash. When crops are harvested early, it causes a lack of nutrition, and the food may be wasted if it doesn't taste good. Moreover, climate change is another big factor that causes food shortages. But whether events such as floods, droughts, and storms can have the potential to destroy crops, which is an extremely important source of food production. Climate change may also increase the price of some very important crops. This means there will be some people who can't afford to buy those products. Throughout my research, one of the things that interested me most was the pie flower, which was invented by a group of university students who started up this project to compete in the global competition. Power flower is a substance that is rich in protein and can be used to feed the world's undernourished population using an ingredient that can be found anywhere, insects. I know that this might sound really gross to some people, but insects are part of a regular diet for some countries already, such as Kenya, Mexico, Thailand, and Cambodia. Also, in the taste test they conducted, a lot of people didn't recognize that it's made using insects, and they liked it. The aspiring food groups who created this amazing and useful invention used its $1 million reward to produce the flour for 4 million people who are living in the urban slums of Mexico. This creative idea will not only provide sustainable food for poor and starving civilians, but also help, provide, help, provide, help improve the economy of the country by creating a new idea for farmers who will become experts in breeding bugs. If this goes well, the power flower may be introduced to other parts of the world. I am Cambodian, and I'm currently living here, so I care about this country. According to the 2007 Socioeconomic Survey, the number of people who are living under the food poverty line is 18%. In addition, malnutrition rates in Cambodia is very high. In fact, 40% of children who are under 5 years old are underweight, and 28% are malnourished. Ah, I'm sorry, 40% are malnourished, and 28% are underweight. At the same time, Cambodia is vulnerable to natural disaster. Some examples are the ritual monsoon flood in the Mekong and Tele South Basin, as well as the drought in the Mekong in the Plain region. 
This caused it, the, this caused damage to rice crops and food production. The World Food Program's assistance in Cambodia has an overall goal of improving food security, for food security and the nutrition situation for the hungry and poor. They are doing this by building longer-term social capital and physical assets, and by promoting different ways to maintain food security. So how do they do it exactly? One way is by implementing a program called WFP Schools Meal Program. Every year, they bring daily nutritious breakfast to approximately half a million primary school children in 12 provinces. In 2012, UNICEF Cambodia partnered with the researcher Frank Wierenga to create nutritional products in Africa and Vietnam. Through their research, they found a flavor that appeals to local people, which caused Wierenga to create the fish flavored tube made from rice, soy, and mung beans, all of which contain micronutrients. Also, Cambodian people like the taste, but not the look of it. This product will be sold on the market in 2017, so if my families introduce this cube into their daily meals, it will reduce my nourishment. Another problem is anemia, which is caused from a lack of iron in our diet. This is another one of the problems that Cambodian people are facing. The lucky iron fish is a solution for the whole world. It is a small iron fish that people put in their soup or rice to reduce, to add the needed iron in their diet. This fish is so easy to use. You just clean it thoroughly using soap, water, and a cloth. Next, boil a liter of water and add the fish in with two to three drops of citrus juice or apple cider vinegar and then remove. Finally, just add the normal ingredients to your soup. This, if you use this little helpful fish every day, it will last for five years. This is another great way to decrease my nutrition rates. Another possible solution is to distribute more bulky boxes to rural areas in Cambodia. By doing this, we can help dec decrease food waste and feed hungry people. But how? Well, sometimes families go shopping and end up buying too much food. If they can't eat it in time, it will go rotten. Those families can put the extra or leftover food in the cool box and with some ice, which can be found anywhere. The other families who can't afford to buy those food can go check in the box and get the food. This strategy is a win-win for two types of people. How cool! Last, but definitely not least, I have some tips for every single one of you in here about how to decrease food waste. The first one is, don't buy too much food. It's simple, right? Another simple one is, don't put too much food on your plate if you think you won't finish that. The next one is to store your leftover food and actually eat it later. The last one I'm about to share with you might be surprising. Don't focus on expiration date. Trust them as a guideline and trust, treat them as a guideline and trust your senses of smell, taste and sight more. Seth Cook, an environmental scientist, said that if we can cut down half of our food waste, we could feed half a billion people. Not just that, but it will help you save a, lot, save a lot of money too. As you can see throughout my talk, feeding the global population is a very daunting task. You should understand and appreciate that you have enough nutritious food to eat, while an, ab while an abundance of people are starving. Please try to cut down your food waste if you want your children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren to have enough nourishing food to eat. Thank you.